वेलकम चिल्ड्रन टू यट अनदर सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन दैट इज वाई डू वी फॉल एल इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी स्टडीड अबाउट जनरल वेज ऑफ प्रिवेंटिंग इन्फेक्शन इन विच वी स्टडीड दैट देर आर सो मैनी जनरल वेज बाई विच वी कैन प्रिवेंट एनी काइंड ऑफ इन्फेक्शन दीज जनरल वेज इंक्लूड पब्लिक हाइजीन एंड प्रॉपर एंड सफिशियंट फूड and nutrients for everyone and we also focused that airborne diseases can be prevented by living in conditions that are not overcrowded with so many people we also learned that waterborne diseases can be prevented by providing clean and safe drinking water to everyone we also studied that vector borne diseases can be prevented by providing neat and clean environment so that the vectors will not propagate and increase or spread the disease in today's session we are going to study about the specific ways of preventing any infectious disease prevention of specific diseases by specific means or ways include a very specific process that is specifically made for that particular kind of disease only and this process is vaccination or immunization for different type of diseases there are different types of vaccines so here the according to the disease there is a specificity of a vaccine that is why this is called as specific way of preventing any infectious disease so let us start this what are the specific ways of preventing infection specific ways of preventing infections are related to a special property of our immune system to fight against various microbial infections to understand this concept let us take an example of smallpox disease before taking this example i would like to introduce you with some of the information of this disease smallpox is a very deadly disease caused by a virus called the variola virus smallpox gets its name from the pus filled blisters or pox that form during the illness so here in this slide you can see that what kind of blisters appears on the body of a patient who is already suffering with smallpox infection on the other side you can see a face of a lady where you can see the face is fully filled with the blisters and scars so if someone become alive after getting a smallpox infection although it is a deadly disease but then also if someone's body somehow fight against this disease and that person uh, by chance survives then that person survives with lots of scars on its body scars of blisters so that makes this disease very deadly and horrible but the good thing is that nowadays there is no smallpox so you need not to be worried about this disease but 100 years ago the picture was totally different there was an epidemic of smallpox in such an epidemic people used to be very afraid of coming near someone who is already suffering from smallpox since they were afraid of catching the disease there was one group of people who did not have this fear at all these people would provide nursing care for the smallpox patients this was the group of people who had smallpox earlier and survived it so what was that special thing in that people those who had that smallpox infection and survived but they survived with so many scars on their body these people who had that infection and survived 
they had something in their body which was protecting them from getting further infection of the same type of virus if you had smallpox once there was no chance of getting its infection again so having the disease once was a means of preventing subsequent attacks of the same disease this happens because when the immune system first sees an infectious microbe or recognizes an infectious microbe it responds against it and then remembers it specifically so the next time that particular microbe or its close relative enters into the body of the same person the immune system respond with a greater vigor this eliminates the infection even more quickly than the first round of infection this is the basis of vaccination has come into our usage so as a general principle we can fool the immune system into a developing a memory for a particular infection by putting something into the body of that person that mimics the microbe we want to vaccinate against into the body to understand this concept of vaccination let me explain this to you in a easy a uh, language suppose you want to get vaccination for bcg bcg vaccination bcg vaccination is given against uh, tuberculosis to small children this is bacillus camptiguerin uh, which is a full form of bcg in this just to make you understand about the concept i am giving this example when a injection is given to a child the infection the injection itself contain heat killed microbe or the copy of that microbe which are inactive inactive means these can be inactive by any way one of the very easy way is by heating the microbe at a very high temperature so that it will not be viable although its structure will remain same but it will not be alive it will be heat killed the structure will remain same but it will be heat killed so if such kind of microbe is inserted through injection into your body your body's immune system triggers and it starts working against it how does it start working against it it makes a special kind of cells which recognizes its shape and try to kill it off or throw it out of body so this is our specific cells of immune system so when a vaccine is given to us the vaccine has certain material which is a co copy of microbe or which can mimic the microbe or which can be heat killed microbe inactive microbe which are inoculated or injected into your body so that your body's immune system will start making a specific kind of cells now these cells which were injected through vaccine were inactive so it is not going to make any difference in your body you will not fall sick by this but your body's immune system will be active against it now in such condition if that person gets the active infection or gets infection from someone in that case your body is already having that specific immune cells which are ready to attack on that microbe with a greater vigor with a greater power so this is how vaccines work in our body 
so when a vaccine is given it is actually injecting something which will trigger your immune system to make a specific kind of immune cells which are will be able to fight against the actual active microbe so that your body will be prepared for future active course of infection this does not cause the disease when a injection is given or the when the vaccine is given actually that vaccine does not cause any kind of disease and provide a disease specific means of prevention of that disease there are vaccines against many diseases like tetanus diphtheria whooping cough measles polio and there are so many other diseases these form the public health program of childhood such a program can be useful only if such health measures are available to all children children you must have heard about pulse polio campaign why that campaign was run so that nobody will have polio infection and nowadays you will hardly see any child getting polio infection because it has been started long back in our country and now also it is active and its motive is just to eradicate polio out of our country can you think of reasons why this should be so why we want to maintain good health of children in our country so that we will have healthy adults in future children in this slide you can also see one uh, uh, picture in which you can see a child is growing and along with the growth of that child different vaccines are given see bcg is there hepatitis b is there hib is there and dpt is there and there are other types of vaccines and if you remember when uh, you was a small that time also your pediatrician must have given one file to you and in that file there are so many vaccines name was printed if you have any small baby in your family ask uh his or her mother and try to check this same kind of picture and different names of vaccines in his or her file there you will see that there are different kind of vaccines which are given to small child at different time codes so that the child will get or develop the immunity against these diseases and child will be protected against these diseases for future so these are immunization schedules or immunization programs some hepatitis viruses which cause jaundice are transmitted through water there is a vaccine for hepatitis a in the market but most of children in india are already immune to hepatitis a by the time they are 5 years old this is because they are already exposed to the virus through water under these circumstances would you like to take vaccine 